So I've decided to tell a brief story from the European side of the fall of the church, the rise and fall. Originally, when the church was coming into power, it was acted as a justification after the slaughter of the pagan tribes of the Celts, the Visigoths, the Druids, very much um, the rest lost the history effectively. Well, not really lost the history, more like lost to, you know, knife, sword, and flame. There was a slaughter. Those who wouldn't convert were destroyed. All familiar with this story happened. Uh, Persians did the same thing. Hell, even the Hebrews did. Not technically, they were Jews at that point. Their captivity in Egypt, they lost almost all of their original transcripts. Including their original land. Nod. And tear. But that's before Catholics. That's before all this. Rome comes in. They consolidate power with the, the Christian ideology that's pretty much spreading like wildfire. Since, you know, they couldn't contain the whole horse face problem. Oh, and for those who are not savvy, Yevus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshuish, or just Yebus, or Jebus, as you all know, um, is Hebrew slang for horse. You should really look more towards um, Judas, but anyway, I digress. So all of these histories are destroyed, the Slavs are enslaved. But they kind of welcome it to a degree. You see, they've been fighting battles with their northern and eastern tribes sometime. The, um, I'm not sure the word it was given, Eleftherians or some shit. Horrible with those, that language. But, um, at least that's, that's the history that's been pieced together. But yeah, there was always a problem with the current day, you know, Transylvania, Romanians, all that. Transylvania tried to do that, but then they got reduced down to nothing. Romania fucking stays, blah, blah, blah. If you want to find out, like, a real history of a place, why don't you go there? Diversify your fucking self. Fucking Nazi. One thing I keep saying is the first four letters of culture. So, effectively, all of this shit. The last 2,000 years of oppression from the Catholic Church. With the Americans coming here, and then, you know, manifest destiny killing off the natives. 
it it must be one half of the genetics nature. I mean, look at birds. Some bird that isn't from a same species or subgenus, unless there's mutual partnership, they will fucking go ape shit. So this is human nature. And most Americans aren't used to hearing a story actually come back around to each point. They're used to hearing evidence, evidence, point. Prove my point, prove my... I have no point to prove. There's a table. It doesn't always have everything there, but we might as well walk around and see what is. That's reality, folks. That's, that's real. Taking in the note that you don't have all the ducks. You couldn't possibly have all the ducks. As soon as you got some ducks, there's going to be more ducks. Or they could just all suddenly die. It could be a really cold winter everywhere. And no more ducks. And then you will never have all the ducks. So there will not be any rows. Or foundations or columns. All false. Much as a social economic structure currently is. We escaped from the church. America was the breakaway. There was already some small movements occurring, you know, from John D. And a lot of the French stuff that isn't really known to Parse. You have to understand, these aren't just like separate worlds. They're, they're fucking neighbors. Literally. Drop everything down to size. America's sitting on a landmass. Landlocked by itself. With only two neighbors. Directly. Europe? You can go 20... 20 miles across the border and suddenly... No, I'm sorry, it's more like 200 kilometers. Oh, go 200 kilometers in pretty much any direction. You're going to run into a different dialect, a different language, and a different, well, fucking culture. Even amongst the same fucking country. So, you know, Americans have no true diversity. It's all imported. You destroyed the original people that were here, that actually were attuned to the land. And you wonder why your cities are falling into sinkholes. Not just bad plumbing. Natives knew something about this. They already had this happen. Their civilization fell literally right into the fucking ground. Trying to build up giant megalithic structures on an ancient seabed. Stupid. Same with, you know, draining a swamp. That's stupid. You don't know what kind of methane chain holes are down there. You don't know how big they are. That would be about the time to renew this whole history. Because in the end, it was a bit of the Catholic push and class push. You know, America has people going back to the church, of course. Can't completely break off, otherwise the church will fucking go on a witch hunt. Catholics. Are you kidding me? The entire Christian ideology, in fact, the entire God, monolistic God thing, the only people doing it right are the fucking Jews. The rest of you are out there trying to do your God's will? You don't think your God can handle it on his own? You think your God is a puppet master? 
the mother of God and not the fucking fuck face Mary. She's a whore, a slut, and a glutton. Why hell history betrayed her as fucking thin like that? I don't know. It was something to beautify it. It was a Catholic thing. No, we can't put this short fat woman. No. It's all mythology, folks. Over a thousand years, pretty much. The Georgian, the Georgian calendar. The point being is, Catholic control is still very covert and overt. Just recently. Back in uh, my old country. And, well, new country. The Catholics actually released a application to report witchcraft. Because the neo-pagan movement is trying to regain their history. They're digging the rubble. They're trying to find anything that their ancestors left behind or survived. The guys the church went through and slaughtered them. And what do you think will occur with the ISIS now fully infiltrated Europe and America? You realize you have more than a foothold situation. Both of you. You have an invasion and a silent occupation. So the Muslims are on their crusades. History turns another page. You know how those things go. Entire histories are wiped off. Civilizations just vanish. I don't know what the hell happened to all these ancient civilizations. One of them went nuts. And decided that it was going to try to get rid of the rest. And that's exactly how the church operates. It doesn't matter if it's Catholic or not. There's an imposition, a God complex, quite literally. That all of the big three put the guilty of. Except the Jews actually sit back and let God take care of shit and do his job, his own job. Why well, do God's job? If you're going to believe in a God, then that's omnipresent, omnipresent. On the video, is all seen, with more than all seen, literally within sight, within sight. And just know what, you know, why, how to, to, to one end. You want to talk about Catholic version of God that they don't follow. And even the Jewish God that they don't follow. Might have caught that word to play. We're doing like what? Two thousand years of history plus give or take a little BC time. In under fucking fifteen minutes. I'm sorry, you only have thirty minute communication spans outside of either self gain pleasure or pain. Oh yeah, and, and you've got like just a just a ten second window for real logistical business. Your attention spans about two minutes most times, people. And trying to adapt to that communication at work and hold a conversation, I don't think it exists. I've had one or two since I've been back in the States at all. The rest is yes. Yeah, 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 or no, let's word. It's either yes man or no man. That's about it. There's no real conversation. See, I'm not pushing anything. I'm just throwing out with the facts. So if I'm going to fucking sit here and be like, well, go ahead and go fuck yourselves off into oblivion because basically that genetic principle will isolate itself and remove itself from nature. 
See, nature is the ultimate genocidal. Could you call it the maniac? If it's nature. You have a moment to think on that. You really think your church is serving some benevolent consignment? I'm not sure. And the Catholics have been pushing this down the throats and up the assholes a civilization and it's 2,000 years I really don't think church is for children I think church is a cult it's my educated guess actually And I am the anti-cult. I'll smite any tyrant of a fucking god. Because anything that wants to call itself a fucking god is most likely a fucking tyrant. I'll tell you what, in the end, all of the corruption towards good or bad, or which version is good and what version is bad. Here, kid, have a chocolate. Shut up. Oh, fuck you. Go watch your football game. Go watch your basketball. Go fix your car. How easily coping mechanisms are manifested. It's chains. <laughs> chains? Nah. Psychological dependency. Clarity is one thing that your church never taught. In fact, none of your religions teach fucking clarity. Just clarity. It's something you have to, well, you can't find clarity, you already had it. So, to the rest of you that are all, have all been forcibly indoctrinated into, well, the culture of your country, the concept of country, instead of people, after all, it's people living with people. That is society. And society will degrade itself every time a culture rules it. That is what is moral decay. So using the church and even ISIS as an example, modern day, you're going to have rebellion or conformity to any pressure that is imposed. This goes for any structure, not just people. It tells you a lot on how things are taught as well, if you think about that. In an impositional, inquisitional manner. How institutionalized do you think 2,000 years of a cult can become? Probably enough to take life without anything on the books. This is a brief history of your Catholic Church. 
and your churches in general. And a little touch on the whole rise of Muhammad and their little fucking killing spree. Every, I keep telling you, every time one of these fucking fools fucking go through and they've got some image to impose, everyone dies. <laughs> Except for, you know, 2,000, no, 25,000 year old manuscripts in China. So, um, good luck. Since good makes bad and luck makes none luck. Have fun with that. <laughs>